Hello everyone to my subscribers. Well, welcome back to my channel. And to those who have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button now and watch out for our next video. Today I'm going to make a review about this sewing machine which I bought from Shopee.ph. Uh, the price of this sewing machine in Shopee or from the seller is 1595 um, by the way, there are lots of seller for this sewing machine. So I just selected some which should I say the price is acceptable or affordable. The, the brand as posted in Shopee of this sewing machine is, they say it is so simple. But I'm going to show you the box. According to this box, the brand is not so simple. So it says here, model number FHSM 505A. And it says multi, a mini multi function household sewing machine. So it is not so simple. I'm not sure what it is. So maybe this is just an imitation. Maybe made in China. I'm Ah, there. It's, it says, made in China. So, it's an imitation from China. After opening the box, what you can see inside are these items. So, we have this adapter, power adapter. And, we have this uh, foot pedal. Basically, this is a switch wherein if you press uh, using your foot, the machine will start to, to rotate or to sew. What else? So we also have these free, free threads and sets of bobbins and free needles. And we also have this, we call it threader. Also included in the box is this one, the, of course the operating manual. So, uh, upon arrival of this item, when we test it, using its included adapter, actually, this adapter is not working properly. It was not able to give the proper amount of voltage or power to this machine. So, to show you what I mean, we're going to test it. So, using the included adapter, Okay, now, look what's happening. It doesn't rotate normally. The rotation is very, very slow. So, this is, this is the problem, the adapter. And we were able to know that the adapter is the one that has a problem because according to the manual, if the if this machine rotates very, very slow, so there's possibility that the power being supplied is not enough or not uh, enough according to its rating. So what I did is, it's a good thing that we have this another adapter which we took from our old sewing machine, which is now not working already. Speaking of, this is our old sewing machine and it's very small and it's I can say is it's like disposable now it's not working anymore okay so we just use its included adapter and then we can test the machine to show you that it's working properly so now you can see there it's working already that's the normal rotation or normal um, working operation of this machine. Uh, next, I'm going to show the machine machine to you. No? This is the front, the back, and the side part. I'm going to discuss now the features of this 
sewing machine. As stated in its box and also in its manual, this machine is able to, to sew 12 different patterns. And then we can be able to see what number are the different patterns and we can choose. And by the way, to choose what pattern you want, so this is the selector, you, need, you just need to rotate and there's a pointer there. You just rotate and select what number you want and what pattern you want. This is called reverse switch or reverse button. So that means we can be able to do a reverse stitching. And here is the power button wherein we can control if we want low speed or high speed. And then we have here the foot pedal and the control for the foot pedal is at this part here. Okay, so you can push down and pull up. Another feature is this one here or this part here is the, they call it bobbin winder. So meaning we can wind the bobbin. Okay, and uh, I almost forgot this this one here or this part here is the is called hand wheel, so we can be able to manually control the the stitching using the hand wheel manual control. And another feature of this sewing machine is its drawer. So there's a drawer on this side wherein we can uh, put our excess items or small items inside this one. I'm going to put this freebies now inside. By the way, I forgot to tell you also another feature of the sewing machine, which is the thread cutter. This side here. Thread cutter. So it will be easy for us to cut the excess threads. And also, of course, this is very important, the LED light. So the switch for the LED light is at the bottom part of this thread cutter. So just press the button to turn off the LED light and press again to turn on. So this can be very help, helpful when we are threading in a dim light area. So we will be able to work properly even though the light is not very bright. And now I'm going to give my final rating for this product. So I'm going to rate it, supposed to be, I'm going to rate it from 1 to 5. I'm going to choose um, whether it will be, whether it will be angry. Angry, sad, happy, like, or love. So my choice will be... like so the maximum points is five points or five stars so i'm going to choose like which is equal to four points or four star so the reason for this rating is because as i mentioned a while ago when the product arrived the included adapter or power power adapter is not working properly so we need to use a different adapter for us to be able to use this machine Another reason is this machine cannot be able to sew a multiple or a thick layer of fabric. And then, by the way, just to share to everyone, I was, because of this sewing machine, I was able to make this uh, side bag. Uh, this is basically used for storage of, or holder of dog treats when we are do, doing our dog training. So this is multi-purpose since it has a... Just like a keychain which you can connect to your ano, belt holder. And you can also use it as a side bag since there is a strap. So that's its multi-purpose. So if you want to know how I made this item or how I made this side bag, multi-purpose side bag, dog treat bag. So watch, watch out for my next video. So those who were not able to subscribe yet in our channel, subscribe now. So that's all guys. Thank you for watching my video. If you... If you like this video, please click like. Thank you. Bye-bye.